Hi oh, folks, welcome back. We're back on the bank. Monday again on peg 12 this week. Um, took a wee walk around earlier. Actually, with Ross was heading for peg 9. I had a choice of 9 or 5, one of the two corners. Um, but I took a little walk along this bank and there was a few fish grubbing up down the margin here. Then along in here. You can see the water was coloured. They were obviously turning it up. The wind's pouring in here. It's a, a north wind, to be honest. It's not the most pleasant wind to be sitting on the end of, but that seemed to be where the fish were. It's been very slow today. A few anglers in the lake, but there hasn't been an awful lot coming out. I've been more doing a little bit of work around the lake too. I haven't seen much showing, but that was a sure sign that there was definitely a few fish down in this bottom corner. So I thought it's too good at too good an opportunity or a good a sign to pass up. So we'll have one rod down there and again one off the back of the end. This rod I didn't put an awful lot of bait in, maybe a handful of boilies and a handful of pellets. The other rods, we got half a kilo of boilies on it so far. Um, there has been a couple of fishes showed right along the front of the island here. So we'll see what comes of that. Got a busy week or two at the fishery. Um, see over here. Behind pig five, pig six. You can see the gap in the trees there now. Um, took the hedge out, put the new otter fence up. I'll give you all a wee look at that later on. The start made, we're just going to re fence the whole fishery. We have the, the bulk of the fishery, the, the main lake here done with the electric willow on, along the field side. You can see the sheep is all properly otter fenced with mesh. But um, the three banks of the lake, the main lake here, are done with. The electric, which has kept us right for the last few years, but now it's time for an upgrade. Fish have got bigger, come too far to take any more risks. So we're going to water fence the whole thing eventually, so we're doing a little bit at a time. A lot of money involved in water fencing, but uh, say we'll do it bit by bit. This wind's due to calm later on. Not cloud knocking about, I'm sure we're going to get an odd shower, but hopefully not much. We're in setup as normal, ready to go. Should we get, we'll be lucky enough to get a bite. Right, we shall see what the evening produces. I'll chat to you in a bit. session is when I'm starting to put a new rig on. I'd actually cut the swivel off, retied the knot, because I checked through the line as I always do, it's the first six, eight foot to make sure there's no damage. There actually had been a little bit of damage. We got a fraying on the line so I cut a couple of foot off. But I must have retied the swivel back on and not changed the rig. The hook was blunt. So it just proves that hook sitting over a week's period in your rod bag or getting caught in the rings or hitting off something when you're packing up. It's just enough to take the edge of it without that tip rusts so lesson learned for myself pay more attention we'll get this one back out fresh bait and hopefully get another run there we go just proves that my theory on the hook was correct five minutes after casting it back out the fresh hook and there's a the result and the biggest mirror in the world probably about Four pound, maybe five. Lovely little scaly one. And uh, certainly a looker. I think I might recognize this fish. I need to go back and have a look, but I think I might be one from one of the stock ponds. Well, I'll say I'll have to go back through some pictures and see. But it just shows, say, keeping those hooks fresh. And uh, fresh rigs, fresh hooks makes all the difference. Well, it's been a strange old evening. We've had a couple, three actually, just uh, the top mirror I showed you earlier that I thought was was one from the stock pond. Um, it's not the same fish they thought it was. It's slightly different, very, very similar, but a slightly different scale pattern. Um, 
but a nice one all the same and not common and just had a lovely skilly mare there about eight nine pounds been the biggest all of them come off the back of the island the rod down the margin to the left uh, that i thought would have produced after seeing those fish churning up and the water colored has done nothing they've obviously moved out of the area or they're switched on to something that that we're not giving them but we're gonna go and get some tea oh, Susie. Susie, you want some dindins? Dindins? We're gonna have some dindins. What are we gonna have? Steak? Oh, <gasps> steak. You like the sound of that, don't you? Steak for tea. Yes, I'm gonna go and have some steak. Yummy. And well, then I'm gonna re-chuck the rods for the evening. Nights are drawing in. Autumn's definitely well on its way. It's dark now. Shortly after half eight, really, you're losing the light. Which is a, uh, it's a long old sit in the dark to be honest. So we're going to watch a bit of YouTube stuff on the tablet and catch up on a few bits I've been wanting to see. But if nothing else major happens, I shall chat to you all in the morning. Day by the look of it. Sun's just coming up, mist rolling off the water, nice carpy morning. See that down the valley there towards Lisburn, it's sun's just starting to climb. It's gonna be a lovely say it's gonna be a nice day by the look of it. Just brought the rods in to be honest, very quiet night. Um I had one one small mirror through the night, um, about two o'clock, and that was it. Um, it wasn't a, not even as much as a bite or a bleep in the alarms, but uh, a few fish showing. But um, again, very, very quiet. They're obviously they're switched on to something, or they're just not feeding one or the other. I'm going to take a wee walk around, so I brought the rods in, let you see this little bit of otter fencing that I was talking about. Let's say the, the bulk of the bailing lake here is done with the electric, which has kept us right over the years. But it's uh, definitely time for, time for an upgrade. There's not there's an odd fish fizzing here and there, but very 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 quiet. Um, I did notice a couple of fish showed down on peg five where I had talked about going. Typical. So say this is the the area I was talking about. I've actually made these two pegs, there's one just showed out in the middle there, um, which is peg six and seven. I've made this into a double, um, took the section of grass out in between them, and say so that can have a fish by, shared by two anglers. Um, obviously if there's somebody on one of the pegs, well you can't really fish the other, um, unless you say, say if, well, if people work together, so I'll let the I'll let the anglers argue over that one. But there we go. See that's our new otter fencing we put up. Took this section of hedge out. Um, it was all overgrown, it was all old willow and uh elder and stuff that had just got overgrown. So one tree had fell down and there was ten new trees growing out of it. Um 
So we'll say we took the, just took the whole lot out, cleaned out the, the ditch at the back, and say we've replanted it with a few silver birch. I'm also going to put some laurels between those, which will create a bit of a, a screen. So we'll that's the system that I use. Um, it's about a two inch mesh, galvanized mesh, and then rather than putting an overhang, I uh, make the overhang out of electric. You can see I have three strong high tensile, two at the bottom, and then one sticking out at the top, which stops them climbing it. And again, the otter's first instinct would be to, to try and bully their way in or push their way in or dig rather than climb. Um, so hopefully by the time they have they have tried that, they've, they'll have had a shock off the fence and have enough to deter them. That's in the, th the first 30 metres done of the main lake. Let's say we'll widen this uh, section of grass and put a new path in. Also, you'd pick five a little bit bigger. Not much, just about a couple of foot at the back end there, as you can see, just in the corner. Took that round. Um, that was originally where it came to here. It was just poured straight across. So we're taking, dug it out now a little bit, made it a little bit bigger. Which will help. We'll say this area then. We're going to leave this in grass. Um, might actually make a little step in the corner here. Allow you to get up easier and use this section then for always to put your mat on. So um say so the mats are better on the grass. The fish does get out of them. At least then it's only going on the grass, not on the stones. And again a few more laurels planted. Just to create a bit of a screen between each peg, give people a wee bit of privacy. So that's definitely gonna be a gonna be a nice day. You can actually see we've got a good view from here. So we have, the sun's just coming up. And the stock pond, I showed you before. Hopefully it'll be nice to see these fish when we net. Uh, see how well they've done. Nice skilly mares. But I'd say that's our first bit of otter fencing. And this wee section of the lake done up as such. Right, I'll take a down run round. I'll go and let the chickens out. Back to the peg and get the rods out. Catch up soon. in the lake. Susie's not happy with the situation. She's down there currently trying to chase it away. Not having much success though. It's nice to see Mr. Swan. 
Susie. You're a silly dog. Oh. This has worked. Here's my city smart angel looks. Come on, you silly dog. Is it? Did you chase it away? Where'd the birdie go? Where'd the birdie go? Is it away? Just like, Daddy, I done well. Did you do well chasing the birdie? Good guard. You silly dog. <laughs> Result of that fight, you just saw. Nice comment. Fish is definitely pushing. I'm sure double figures. And if not, it's not far off it. That's a nice result. I've got a quick photograph of this one. Get it back. Ah, well, that's us for an hour session. We just got packed up. Giving rain to come in this afternoon. You can see the the clouds are starting to roll in. Definitely made the right decision. A few spits just starting there. Well, trolley's loaded. Hasn't been a bad session after all. It's a little bit slow, but we've had six or seven fish. The biggest of them being that common there. You saw me landing um, earlier on. Slow it off again. Mr. Robin down to clean up anything I've left behind. Any bait. <laughs> but, say, good session. Enjoyable. But, till next time, remember to subscribe to the channel. Give us a like if you like this video. And hit the wee notification icon to keep you updated. Future of videos on the channel. A lot more work coming up around the fishery in the next few weeks. So. We'll be doing me bits and pieces and that. So, until next time, folks, thanks for watching.